Hey everyone, Andy here at Able City Burbank Showroom, uh, and today I'm checking out the FS700 uh, with the uh, raw recording option. Sony was nice enough to stop by today to show us uh, the new uh, feature of the camera. The, the raw option is an upgrade that has to be done at Sony. It's a $400 upgrade. You send it in, they perform the upgrade, but if you buy their IF and R5 uh, recorder, that's a waived fee. But if you still want to do it with the uh, Odyssey, uh, 7Q from Conversion Designs, for instance, you want to upgrade for that reason. It's only $400, definitely worth the money. Uh, so the setup I have here today, uh, I'm sending out the raw signal over SDI to the IFR5 uh, combo, uh, enabling raw recording. The IF is very simple. It has basically a simple menu on the side here where I can uh, name my clips uh, and format my card. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, when I go out to the, lay the main menu here, it'll show me the incoming signal and how much time I have left on the card. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, the camera sends the signal and it detects that signal. Uh, so in a camera though, there's some settings to choose from. So let me go to the menus here and show you that. The menu, go to the output here, go to record set, and then I can see this top line here, I have uh, the option to choose between RAW, HD, and SD. Choose RAW here and then I can go down Choose, between, choose simultaneous recording option on or off. That's going to enable me to either just record only RAW, or both RAW and the AVC HD at the same time. This is a really nice option because the RAW signal will remain clean RAW data while I can actually put a, a picture profile essentially on the internal recording and have a nice combination offline, online edit uh, option. So I can do that. And then in the output, I can choose between 4K up to 24, up to 60P. Uh, or I can do 2K from 24 up to 60p as well. If I was in the PAL mode, 50 hertz mode, 25 to 50, same kind of things. This is great though, it means I can do up to 60p continuous frames in 4K or uh, 2K up to 60p in this mode. Uh, but, and the last thing here, by the way, record control is saying, when I hit the record button, does it record both at the same time? There you go. So beyond that though, beyond this standard HD, uh, for the standard raw 4K and 2K recording modes, I also have uh, the ability to go into my S and Q menu, that's the slow and quicker over crank, under crank option mode, and choose 4K and 2K super slow mo options. So, uh, in the 4K super slow mo, I can actually send out 120 frames in a sort of four second burst. So, the camera will buffer and then output all these 120 frames to the recorder, uh, but works very similar to the, um, the way that the camera works right now in slow and quick. I can set that up with a trigger, sends the data out. Very cool option though. But in 2K, I can go crazy and actually shoot 120 or 240 continuous slow motion uh, right into the recorder. So 240 is a nice high frame rate, obviously. Uh, great option to have for uh, any kind of slow motion in full quality 2K raw data. Very cool. Beyond the um, raw options that I get with the upgrade to the camera, I also have a nice addition of uh, S-Log 2 gamma profile as well as a wide 800% 709 profile into my picture profile. So just straight up, I get, get S-Log2 included for standard use. So I can see that under picture profile here, hit the button, and go down to my gamma mode. And I got two new gamma options, 709-800, wide range 709, and S-Log2. Again, standard S-Log2, just like we have on the 5, and 55, and 65. So now that's in the camera. I can use it in standard modes or just to any external recorder if I want to. All part of the upgrade, it's a huge thing. There it is in the camera, easy to set up. Uh, it's a nice configuration here. It comes kind of big, but obviously you can remove this whole system, just have it on a cart, on the floor, wherever you want it, uh, it's a separate thing. Or you add the 7Q in there and get that onboard monitor. So lots of cool new options with the FS700. Uh, and also there's a promo going on, I believe, for a free uh, Canon lens adapter. So it's a great time to get this new system if, you, if you're looking to buy something good. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.